Hey guys, um, welcome to my first Let's Play of Portal 2. This is one of my favorite games um, that I've played recently. I was super excited about it after playing Portal 1, of course, but um, I'm going to be playing through just mostly like, I'm not going to be doing a complete walkthrough, but I'm going to be playing through just the first uh, cu couple of chapters just to see how this Let's Play goes. And here we go. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture so, Science uh, Extended Relaxation Center must be revived Looks periodically like for room. mandatory physical and mental an wellness exercise. old 80s hotel room. You will hear a buzzer. Looks pretty when nice, you hear though. the buzzer, look uh, up at the ceiling. I don't know why we're in here. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Yeah, the carpet looks kind of... Good. Dirty. This completes the gymnastic portion of the mandatory to physical and mental wellness sleep in exercise. Room in real life, so. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. So the interesting thing about this painting is if you um, come this back is art. after you the will hear a buzzer over, and you when you hear the, the buzzer, again, stare you'll at see the a moon behind the mountain, which wasn't there before. I thought that was pretty interesting. You should now um, feel mentally reinvigorated. That, cool. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Oh, it's Bach! <laughs> Listen to that harpsichord. Aww. Good. Now, Sad please day. return to your bed. So, um, the computer tells us to go back to sleep, and I'm not really wanting to, but I guess we have to to make the scene go on. I wonder how long we stay asleep. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Oh, that's nine, how long we stay asleep. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Hello? Just keeps repeating. Anyone in there? Hello? I remember reading like some calculating how long you would stay asleep, and it was like thousands of years Hello? or something like that. It's ridiculous. But, um, yeah, we, Wheatley's knocking at the door. You can go open anytime. Oh, oh, there he is. You look. Um. Good. Looking good, actually. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. See, I don't know why they stay make calm, stay, stay fun calm, of the shell so much. Oh, it doesn't look prepare. bad at all. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I guess I'm staying gonna get asleep out. forever makes you... Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. So, welcome to our first introduction to Wheatley. He's going to be a oh, guide for us there. throughout a lot Can of the you game. Hear me? Hello? I can't hear you. You're hiding. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But How don't is be alarmed, that minor? All right? uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarm, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you huh. understand okay. what I'm saying yeah. at all? Yeah, Does any yeah. of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just, you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 <laughs> okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. So, uh, Wheatley okay, being look, I wasn't gonna mention this to you, is, but I'm in pretty uh, hot water here. To, uh, How are you doing, Ben? Get us out of trouble, still I guess. Holding on. And the reserve he's doing power a really ran out, bad so of course the whole it. relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, so an interesting this thing about tricky. this part is that you're not course, actually standing inside of this room. Oh, why don't you tell me anything? Um, Why Valve actually programmed it where the they move your the character to the inside of the box and then they on. program everything inside Lights, of it to move clutch. around you, you but it doesn't really affect you, so you don't fall through the game space. environment whenever you're standing uh, in this room. Just gotta get through here! Okay, I just gotta concentrate! So we is fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Uh, moves this oh, room no, across the, the Aperture Science Center. Um, I find it really fascinating to see like, okay, listen, all we of the, our story straight, all right? if like, the complexity asks, of the environment. No one's gonna ask. Don't because worry. the first thing is very asks, simplistic. Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone detailed. looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. 
Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. He thinks this is a docking station, is it? Ah, no. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Yeah, he tends to do a lot of manual overrides on things. Almost there. In other words, Remember, destroying things. Remember, you're looking things. for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. And we're free. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that. You got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. So um, now uh, we are going to be traversing the inside again, of the Aperture Science, to the Aperture Science Center. Enrichment Center. And everything is a little we bit right now. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. Looks like everything is However, good. thanks to emergency Overgrown testing protocols, and, um, testing can continue. Looks like These pre-recorded like pre messages will provide instructional and motivational time, support years, so that so science can still be done, exactly even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or the structural collapse. everything collapse. looks overgrown, I guess. The portal it's like will a jungle. open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. And doesn't this remind you of the first game? You can actually see that she's a chick. It's her name is Shell. A lot of people, for some odd reason, doesn't don't know that her name is Shell. Cue and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, um, even in a dire emergency. Like the other day, one of my friends is like, "Oh, her name's Shell." I'm like, "Yeah, that's it." Said work. it in the credits. The odds of this happening twice Whoever reads are credits very anyway, slim. So. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. So I'm going to be cutting out the loading times because they're just uh, really annoying. If you feel <laughs> liquid running anyway. down your neck, relax, Not that it's annoying for you to lie watch. on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing so a rare reaction in which the Material Emancipation these, Grill uh, may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. One. Um, an interesting thing about this next test is that this test didn't have switches in the first, in the original. And you actually used, I believe, the blue portal gun to um, shoot the portals. I may be wrong on that. It's been a while since I've played Portal 1. but um, Oh, no, the portals jumped around. That's right. And they, I think Valve like thought it was really hard for people to, to catch the portals in this version, so they decided to introduce you to Cuban, um, Cuban button-based testing, So, which I thought was pretty interesting. Since I've recently played through Portal 2, Good. I'm going to just run through Because this of the quick. technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing so, um, body that either the, refuses to thing or about is these test chambers of is that, um, you can look at the screens and see like the products that Aperture Science is trying to push. So I, I'll stop and usually just stare at them or something like that. Even even though I've seen them a hundred billion times, I just like hey, looking at them. Hey, you made it! Oh, and there's Wheatley again. There should hey, be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? This was. Oh. This is that laser room. Oh. Ouch. Hello. Can you see the portal gun? No. <laughs> I'm kind of 200 feet That's down. <laughs> And these robots don't really care if you're alive or not, so just uh, grab the portal gun and um, you can make a portal on any of these walls. And the interesting thing is that um, Ratman has drawn on these walls, I guess, interpretations of what happened when Shell beat GLaDOS the first time. So we're just gonna run up here real quick and um, 
It look this kind of looks like Half Life a little bit. Half Life one or two when you're running through Mesa. No, sorry, what am I saying? Half Life one when you're running through um, Black Mesa and those hallways. Some emergency stuff. testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. That's really not enough for, for robots, really. Okay, so I'm going to put a portal on the back wall of here. Good. And I'm just going to feel that a lethal military android has not <laughs> respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics. Please note it on your self reporting form. A future aperture science and title and associate really will initiate the appropriate grievance filing the, paperwork. Um, tubes. The vacuum tubes or whatever. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. So this room is looking pretty ancient, but um, we're just gonna pop a portal down here. Oops, and I missed. Um, we're just gonna pop a portal down there and grab the cube. And when we do so, we're just gonna place it on the button. Simple, right? Well, these these tests are gonna get a little bit more complex, but right now they're pretty pretty easy tutorial tests. Now this is a room that was also in Portal One. Um, it, it's very similar. Um, let's see. You just pop a portal down here, and I'm on the wrong side, of course, but you need to go to the other side and grab the cube, like so. Um, you're going to place the cube on one of the switches. Now, the other cube is going to be down in this hole um, to my right. Sorry, my left. I'm just not wording today. Um, but the cube is going to end up on, back on the platform. So you're going to need to get back to that platform and just grab the cube real quick and just place it on the button and you're good to go. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved oh, compliments. Oh yeah. Um, if you look at the ceiling, there's a portal on top. So what you want to do is uh, look, you can shoot it from the wall or the floor. You just pop a portal down and you're going to go for the glass. And I, I thought I could slip through that crack for a minute. I, I, don't, I don't know why I always do that. I think this my contrast on my screen is a little bit too dark. And here's something that uh, Ratman drew or left behind. Looks like a lot of equations and him just trying to figure things out, which he obviously can't because it says unreason on there. Okay, so we're going to go through this door and we're going to find another elevator. Um, and you can find more of Ratman's drawings around. Um, I, I probably won't go find all of them, but I'll, if I if I know there's one in the room, if the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. So um, I'm going to end my let's play here, um, but tune in next time and we'll go through this. Uh, we'll finish up chapter one. Okay, thank you for listening.